welcome back to Jungle Survival 101, where God guides, He provides. Let's get right into the adventure. So, if we are like the 
If we put our hearts in soil that has thorns in it, similar to how the thorns in the seed in the parable choked, we will choke. We will stifle our life, we won't grow or anything. If we plant ourselves and we're not in good soil, we can wither because there will be no roots in our lives. And so it's our responsibility to ensure that with the seed that we have, our heart, this heart that God has given to us, that we plant it where there's good soil so that our lives can be as great, as mighty, as long as these trees. And even more than that, you know, there's the part that says, in the story that says that the crop, the seed, when it fell on good soil, it produced crop. It produced a tree, a fruit, a, a, a thing that had the ability to create 60, 70, 30, 100 times more than what that one little seed was. And us, as children of God, as people who live in the kingdom and who walk in the light, we have a responsibility to share this light. We have a responsibility to tell somebody about this love and tell somebody about this good soil that we have found. Right. I never knew that that was so important. It is. It is yeah. very important. So we need to plant our hearts, our seeds in God, in Christ. And then because we are planted in Christ, we will grow in Christ. And then that's how we're going to share to each and every different person. So you get that? We're going to, we are the, our hearts are the seeds and we plant it in God. God allows us to grow and then our fruits will be the, the persons that we go around and spread the love with spread Christ with and that's beautiful and that is beautiful and before we know it we might produce a whole jungle <laughs> all by ourselves isn't that crazy yes yeah. that's a solder like this one like this and one like this one <laughs> all right guys that's it miss all it was so good having you you're so welcome guys and it was so good having you guys here in the jungle with us and we look so forward to what will happen next time. Yes. Bye. 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 Now it's time for Bible Trivia. Here is your chance to win a free book voucher valued at $2,500. I'm going to ask you a question and the first person to respond by texting the right answer to the WhatsApp number across your screen will win the prize. Are you ready for the question? Good. Which Bible verse in the New Testament tells us how we should guard our heart? Hey kids, welcome back to my jungle. And today we're gonna learn how we can plant our own seeds so you can make your very own jungle right at home. And to do this, I'm going to take you to meet my good friend, Jungle Jojo. So come on. Hi, tour guide Jojo. Hi, Jojo. I'm going to leave you with my friends here because I have to find Matthew and the rest of the kids. Mm -hmm. But they're going to get in trouble. I just know it. So I got to go. But you can, you can teach them. You'll be fine. She's very nice. All right, later. watermelon seeds. So you need your pots, your soil, your name tags, and a marker. And maybe a pencil or something to bore a hole. So you get your pots and you add your soil. So when you're adding your soil to your pot, I know your pot can be any plastic material that is food grade safe. And it can be a water bottle you cut in half, an empty yogurt container, an empty food container that can hold stuff. You bore holes in the bottom so the water can drain through and you're good to go. 
So we're gonna fill the other pot. And when you're filling your pot, don't fill it all the way up. You fill it and leave some space so that when you water it, it doesn't overflow. All right, level the top. This one could be some more. Great. So, our pots are filled. Now, you're gonna take your little tool, it can be a pen, pencil, marker, whatever, and you make a little hole in your soil. Now when you've made your hole, when you've made your hole, so we're gonna add two seeds per hole. Just to ensure at least one Then we cover them. Up. Put the rest back in the container. After you've covered your seeds, you want to label it. So get your markers. Now this can be any type of plastic. You can cut a bottle to make your name tag. Get your permanent marker and you write the name of the seed so we just made watermelon and you put the day and the month so you know when you plant it okay so today is the 14th of the 8th so you're gonna write 14 slash 8 when you've done that you put it in the pot so we're gonna do the other one watermelon of the eight like that name date and you put it in the container after that you're going to water so I have my watering can you can make your own you can take a really big water bottle and pour some holes in the bottom or you take a gallon bottle and you cut it in half so you have the handle and you can it. or you can keep don't cut it bore some holes in the top of the bottle in the cover and then pull it up and you water so let's water them you want to ensure that the entire soil is soaked so that the the seed can have enough water to germinate and grow into a big plant. Let's add a little bit more water. Alright. And that's it. And don't forget, when you're finished planting your seeds, to wash your hands. So just as you learned yesterday, how to wash your hands, same thing applies today. Just one more thing before you go. If you would like to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, all you have to do is repeat this simple prayer after me. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I thank you that you came and died for my sin. I accept you today as my Lord and Savior. I pray that you will help me through this jungle that we call life. Thank you, and I love you. Amen. Welcome to the family. Thank you so much for saying that prayer with me. We would love for you to contact us at our WhatsApp number, or you can send us a direct message on our Instagram page. Today's memory verse is taken from Luke 10, verse 27. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. So, Guy Gemma, how can we do that? Well, it's very simple. Come on over and we can pray together. 
Repeat after me. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, I love you. I love you. I recognize, I recognize that I am your child. That I am your child. And I need you in this life. And I need you in this life. A jungle as it may be. A jungle as it may be. I accept you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. Please live in my heart. Please live in my heart. Today. Today. And forevermore. And forevermore. Amen. 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 <laughs> it's Sorry. just that simple. Thank you so much for coming along with our adventures and have a great, great summer.